Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a brand new video of Pokemon White Randomized Nuzlocke. Now, in today's episode, what we are going to be doing is heading over to the left side in the cave to go grab one particular item that we saw inside there. And then we're going to head downwards to the city and see how things go. Now, we are going to do a quick team recap. You can ignore one of these because they may have passed away and I wasn't able to go to the actual computer to say hi and put them away. But... You know, he's there. There, there is closed eyes on the Snoop Zan's timeline, and we'll just we'll believe in that. Uh, but for our actual squad, we have Aokiji the Articuno, of which has Gust, Powder Snow, Mist, and Ice Shard. He's been doing quite well for us. He's been a super fantastic hero. Uh, and we have Panoptic the Basculin, of which has Cut, Aqua Jet, Bite, and Head Butt. Um, and they've both been doing some very good, very efficient, very helpful work. Um, now, we did attempt to get an encounter over here inside the cave last episode and didn't get too lucky with it. We had to go get our heals done. However, we're going to go and try and get that item over there. Then we'll hop downwards and see how things go. That's a Yuxi! You actually came out and said Pokemon Go the other day, and unfortunately, I haven't had much luck with you. Uh, I, I think that North America, where I am, got Azelf, so... I think they're just around the entire country, just completely randomly. I'm probably not going to end up getting uh, Uxie or any of them anytime soon, but I mean, it's cool they got added. I feel like I heard about them getting added to raids at some point, but I feel like roaming makes a lot more sense. Granted, the roaming dogs like uh, Entei, like Suicune, like... Uh, probably just going to run up from this, actually. You can go and sleep in your corner. Uh... Like Entei, Suicune, Raikou, all of them were just raids in general. Whoa! TM90 Swift? That's neat. I'm probably not going to teach anybody Swift, but I mean, that's a guaranteed hit. Neato. I'll take it. I'm just going to head downwards. Hey there. I'm going to show off everything I learned inside the trainer school. Well, show me what you got then, buddy o pal. Who are you? Performer Kim sent out Cricketune. I see you learned about the way of the Dedala Whoops. Well, unfortunately, that probably doesn't go too well for your actual knowledge and strength. I meant to go over by one, but I guess it got misty anyway. Welcome to a Stephen King novel. It's time to go dip. It is a Stephen King novel, right? I'm like 90% sure. Oh no. The mist. Uh, director was Frank Darabont. Uh, Stephen King. Yeah, okay. I was pretty sure. Had to confirm. Good. Good to know. I'm happy with that. Honestly, the original mist movie was pretty good. Like with the, the shopping like center, the grocery store. Uh, and the shutters and everything, and actually did a pretty good job of telling the actual story. I remember the fucking Netflix series. I don't remember if it was last year or what point it came out, but I remember binging through it within like two or three days. That series is actually abhorrently horrible. Um, and it's not even because it's 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 like laughably bad. It's really painful, victim-blaming, weird story. It's a very strange time. It, it actually made me really uncomfortable to watch. Uh, so that's that, I guess. Also, there's nothing inside there. I'm going to head downwards to get this item over this way. Thank you. Razor Claw. What is that? I know about Quick Claw and everything and Sharp Beak. Uh, ups Holder's Crit Ratio. Probably okay on that. Thanks, though. Wah! Hey there, buddy. Um. Oh, you would have been so much better than a lady, but holy shit. Yeah, you are definitely bigger and stronger than the lady buff, but I'm going to run away anyway because I'm good. Thanks, though. That's a lot of legendary. Jeez. Whoa, Oshawott! You're probably my least favorite starter, but you're cool, though. You're pretty neato. You exist. I'll take it. We're gonna head out anyway. Alrighty, we'll just head over to the city right now anyway. Ba-ba-da-ba-ba-ba! Whoa! 
Another one. Another sharp beak. Cool. A lot of those around. I was thinking about a new battle strategy. And what would that be? Use the same attack over and over and hope for the best? That's what I do. Works out wonderfully, actually. Crobat. Hey there. That means you have max friendship. That's kind. Good of you. Proud of you, kiddo. I'm glad you were able to make some good friends along the way. Too bad I'm going to murder your child. Bye. Oh. Definitely hurts quite a bit. We well, don't know, like, the ice effectiveness and weaknesses, I guess. Like, I know flying doesn't like uh, ice at all. I think it's grass. But I don't know, like, what it's weak to. I think that rock is one of them. I don't know if poison affects it, but Drapion wasn't taking damage from it, so I imagine it doesn't actually affect anything. I have to... I need to go and, like, memorize the parts of the actual typing chart I don't know yet. I feel as if... Poison, Steel, Dark, and Ice are kind of the main ones I don't quite know fully. Uh, so one day, I'm sure, I will eventually learn the world. Gust it up. Bah. Spite? Oh. I want to use Gust more, though. That's mean. 4 PP of a 35 PP attack, though, is not a terribly huge deal. Take it. A new battle strategy only works if you stick to it. Yeah, that would be how implementation works. However, we are good to go. And here we are in Narceline City, or whatever it was. Come with me a sec. Oh, I like the designs inside the city. I forgot about all of these. If you go straight from here, there's a Pokemon Center, and use these if you want. I got the chest! Thank you. Give these to your Pokemon to hold. Then if it ever falls asleep, it'll wake up immediately. Also, another piece of advice. Narserene City's gym leader uses normal types. If you have a fighting type Pokemon, you might have a big advantage. That would be great if I had one. Also, help if I had like a rock type or something. But RIP that, I guess. I will go ahead and heal. Ba 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 da ba! Thank you. Appreciate that. I'm actually gonna probably... Low-key, I feel as if now is the time to grab more Pokeball. Like, what if I went up to, like, 15? Uh, which would be 8. Oh, what if I grab Great Balls, too? Because those totally exist. I forgot. And I think I'll grab a few potions as well. Going up to 10 of those is kind of comfortable. Uh, and I'll grab, like, a couple Super Potions. Or, like, one. That works out. I'll kind of help out my general builds here. And I guess, is there a way I can get an encounter? Because if we have to just go to the gym, I'd prefer... Are you the gym? That's totally the gym. She's an archaeologist with backbone. Oh no. Uh, in that case, archaeologist. Does this city have a fossil reader? Somewhere? Uh... Are you the kick guys? DS wireless communications are... Oh, that's not what I care about. I feel as if fossils would make sense to be inside a city like this. It's just a matter of where the machine would be. Uh, not that way. There is something over there, though. Interesting. Definitely going to be an encounter over that way as well, anyway. Uh, what about in here? Is th this? The this is not fossil. Who are you, though? Do you have a Pokemon called Pilittle? Would you like to trade it for a Cottony? No. I'm good. Thanks, though. What about in here? Uh, I'm lo lobbly. I have decor. Okay. You know, this seems really cute. It's it's very like warm and welcoming. It's 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 a nice area. Looks like there's no archaeologist here though. There's a musician. I play the guitar and have Pokemon battles every day. I keep doing that because I enjoy it. That's cute. Do what makes you happy, man. Live your fulfilled life. Hell yeah. However, I'm probably just going to head over to... Uh, I'll, I'll head in here first. And then we'll head upwards. Hey there, everybody. Yes, I know. I, I, if you have a Wander Launcher, you can get energy and use various items. Great triplet combo. Yeah, I... Yep. Already fought those. 
Welcome to the cafe warehouse. Stylish cafe with a rural area. Interesting. Here, I'm gonna head over in this direction. I think now's the time for an encounter, if anything. Pinwheel Forest, yo, that's cute. Who are you? Hello. Yo, traveling trainer, are your Pokemon getting stronger? Heroes might come in handy. TM94 Bone Club. That would be Rocksmith. That's not what that is. However, I totally want Bone Club. Because Bone Club's a ground type, which helps me cover a little bit more of the typings I'm missing. How Kiji can learn it. That would give him an answer. That would give him an answer to fighting against rock types. I don't want mist anyway, so that's not a huge deal. Any ground types would probably come with a ground type anyway, so I feel like teaching him more coverage is a good idea. Also, Bone Club doesn't actually go away. I thought that in this gen it actually went away after you use it, but I'll take that. Oh, what's up? Going deeper into Pinwheel Forest or Challenge Rock? Either way, you're going to be tough. You're just rooted in spot. Yeah. Yeah, that's about right. I'm down to be rooted. I am the root of all evil. Hey. I have a flying type. I also have a water type. One sec. Because we have a problem. Uh -huh. A really big problem. Electivire. Electivire is pure electric. I thought that it was also a fighting type. It turns out it totally isn't. So I'm going to want to use Bone Club. I, I fucking need this to kill. Oh no. Cause uh, that's gonna hurt both my party members. Oh, wow. How did that do nothing? You're physical! That's why! Oh my god, that's okay! We're okay! We're golden! Oh, shit. Oh, thank god I have Bone Club. I, I needed that. Thank god for Bone Club. Bone Club is ready. Oh, magical. Thank the- thank the wor- oh. Thank you for the heal. You actually just healed up all that issue I had as well. Beautiful! Thank you. I got a poison barb too. Good stuff. We're gonna head downwards, cause you know, you, you never know when you can go get more some more items. It's it's generally around. Hi hi trainer, show me what kind of Pokemon you're training. Yeah, it's unique. But what are you training yourself? A Rayquaza. Gotcha, kiddo. Uh how? Did you just seduce this random dragon into joining you because you had your childish wonders? Is it like Little Prince where you were like, I just want to find joy in life and this chi this ancient dragon found out that you wanted that and was like, right, childlike wonder. That's beautiful. I mean, I do that. You know, sometime, was it last year? I guess. Earlier this year, uh, I had the book Little Prince, and I hadn't actually read it up to this point. So when I was inside my course, people were talking about, or not people inside my course, people online were talking about how Arima's story is very similar to uh, the story of Little Prince, because it's Arima rediscovering what is like immaturity from Heisei himself. Which I completely agree with. I think that's super accurate as to what his character was all about. Um, and it's it's so cute looking at the entire story with that kind of vibe to it. And so I loved reading through Little Prince. I had such a good time with it because it was so... It connected with me quite a bit. Holder's HP is restored by a little every time you don't inflict damage. I probably don't want that that much right now. I feel like Sharp Beak's probably still better for the moment. But I appreciate your patronage. What is down here? Ooh, there's stuff. I am probably just gonna go over this way. I had an encounter here. Oh no. 
Oh no. I had an encounter here. Did I already have an encounter inside the forest? I fought Stacy. Did I have an encounter? Oh fuck, this is a new area. Did I have it? Oh no. Oh no. I need to check I need to check the video. I need to check if if I already had an encounter, I'm gonna be so fucking upset. Give me one second, I'm gonna check the video. Oh god damn it. Ah Okay. Thank the fucking lord. Uh, we are good. We have not had an encounter just yet. Uh, so inside the Pinwheel Forest, we do have an encounter here. Um, we just need to find, like, I guess a shaky piece of grass somewhere that we can end up encountering an enemy or a Pokemon or something. Uh, however, we have not had it. I checked the VOD. I checked, I checked my video. We are all good. So our goal now is to be to find our encounter that we are going to catch here. Now, I don't... I, I want to search for a moving piece of grass because I trust that quite a bit right now. The issue is if none are going to pop up, I don't want to go into the one that has the double encounters because I can't actually get um, a catch there. So I don't want to go in the dark grass. If nothing shakes, I'm probably just going to walk into this one. I feel like this 4x4 four four I can trust. Here, I wonder if I can like get past this guy. Turn. Good. Encounter! 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 Uh... It's male, too. It's okay. It's, it's, it's all right. Snow Run is a pure ice type, which is mostly useless in the face of an Aokiji. It is an answer to our our uh, electric weakness, though. It's neutral. So that's better than nothing. I'm probably going to throw a Pokeball here. Or we'll throw a Great Ball. We'll, we'll, we'll throw a Great Ball. We'll, we'll mash it up. I believe in the world. Done. Three Pokemon. Bless. So this is actually going to turn into a Glalie because it is male. So I probably want to name it something that has a broken jaw. It is said that several snow run gather and gather under giant leaves and live together in harmony. The snow hat Pokemon. Oh, I know what I want to call you. Oh, it's not even going to be like a cute name, or it's not even going to be like a an, an anime e name. I just really like the idea of this. Your name is Beanie, because you 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 go on under like the snow hats. You have a little beanie. I think that's very cute. I think you deserve that. Hey there, Snow Run, and welcome to the party. Ooh, I need to check all these rocks. I I strongly believe. Oh, that's an encounter. I think these rocks. <gasps> no! I could have gotten a Larvesta. I fucking love Larvesta. It's one of my favorite Pokemon, actually. I love Volcarona. His heat wave is great. Oh, I'm so sad. Damn it. Um, I'm gonna check all these rocks here because I think that they actually can have an item inside them. And I feel as if I kind of care about that quite a bit at the moment. I want to try to be careful. It's shaky. I'm gonna go to the shaky grass. I'm so curious. Who are you? Wah ha! Ho! Ho! Wait. Uh, Generation 5 Weird Encounter Sparkle Fun or L Landorus. Is, is, when it first pops up, is that what happens? Is this the actual roaming version of okay. it? Okay, so my understanding of the scenario is this isn't one of the wandering ones. The wandering runs would be Tornadus and Thunderous, and they would only appear around the map after you see them inside a storm. So this isn't actually the encounterable random one. I wasn't sure, and I was very curious about it. So it's it's cool to know that now. I'm probably you know what I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna use an ability here. Uh, but it's interesting, because I, I guess I haven't really seen that sparkle of the actual encounter thing for Landorus ever inside the game. 
So my assumption is that it was similar to like Latios and Latias. It was similar to like Azelf and Yuxi and Mesprit and all that. It's a it's a challenge rock. Yeah, me too. Um so good to know. Very interesting. And it seems like legendaries are popping up inside those like shaky grass things. I don't know if that's guaranteed, but it's something that I want to keep an eye out for in the future anyway. However, this has been our detour. And I'm quite happy with that. Um, I'm going to head up this way. Uh, we are going to get the heal from the random battle nurse. Oh, hey there, Muna. It's been a while. How is your vape doing? Hopefully it's been going well for you. I'm probably just going to bounce out. You can you can chill though. You you can you can relax a little bit. I'm gonna hop back up to the gym. Uh, Cause I just wanted to get our encounter done here before we head in. Uh, talk to the battle nurse. Hey there, thank you for the heal. I'm probably gonna head to the left for now. I'm just curious. Whoa, hey everybody. Pokemon liberated the trans and the traders. Okay, gotta go fight the gym leader first. I completely understand. And quite frankly, I am fine with that. Because I think that we're good to go for actually trying to get this done. Now, we are inside the city, so I need to go and store a, a certain person into our box. Uh, but we'll be good to go and fight the actual gym leader here in a moment as well in this episode. Uh, so let's go ahead and get to it. So first and foremost, uh, Snoop Zan, unfortunately you did pass away like last episode. We didn't get the chance to toss you inside the box, but... Rest in peace. You will be missed. Uh, you were instead replaced by a very, a very good beanie. And he's level 15 already, so we should be fine just use him inside combat. If we encounter like a pure grass type, for example. However, normal types don't actually exist inside this gym. So it's time for a randomized second gym battle. I have little confidence, but I feel inspired. And that is the important part. Let's get to it. Three, two, one, in we go. Oh, hey, whoa. Um, I wanna see things that no one else can see. The truths behind Pokemon and Pokeballs, the ideals of how trainers should be, uh, and a future where Pokemon have become perfect. Yeah? That's so. I think that my friends and I should test to see if you can see this future too. Sure. I... I guess I'm down for it. Hey there, Combuskin. That's a bit of a problem for me, actually. I would love to swap out to Panoptic. Because this could be bad. Um, oh, well, well, hmm. Bone Club! This is okay. Yeah, no, that's okay. We're, we're all right. I don't need to try and back out of that one. Who do we have next? Rhyhorn. Actually, I'm going to swap to Panoptic here. Because he will be a hell of a lot better against your ground type. Granted, we don't actually fly like the Aokiji can. But, you know, I can, I can water you up. Use some Aqua Jets in. And work out pretty well. Hell yeah. Next up is Carn uh, Carnava. Uh, I'm going to swap in Beanie because he needs some experience anyway. And I mean, Icy Wind's going to do a good amount of damage regardless. Granted, uh, uh, I'll use Bite. It's okay. I'm going to get Rough Skinned, but it's not really a huge deal. Not very effective. Right, you're Dark type as well. Shit. Neither of these are good against you. I'm going to use this anyway. Hopefully it freezes you, but yeah, that's not very effective for either. Ow. Oh, God. Okay. Well, I'm swapping to Panoptic now. Damn. I'm just going to use Headbutt and be fine with it. You know, as I look at Panoptic's moveset, I think more about like... Beyond this generation, they got rid of most of the TMs entirely. I don't know how I feel about it. 
On one end, I feel like TMs and HMs are really, imp or like, sorry, HMs. I feel like HMs are a really important part of trying to traverse maps and like cut on a, on a Pokemon is useless, but still helpful. I don't know what side I am on it, but yeah. Uh, right now, my friends aren't strong enough to save all Pokemon. Maybe I can't solve the equation that will change the world. So I need power. Power enough to make anyone agree with me. God, child! Now I know what power I need! Reshiram! The legendary Pokemon along with that hero, or along with the hero, created the Unova region. It is my turn to become that hero, and you and I will be friends. Yikes. Oh boy. That seems really bad, N. I don't remember him being this tor tormentous. I remember him being a lot more chill. Jeez. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know what side I am in terms of like, should Pokemon have to learn HMs in terms of games? Because I feel like it makes you more connected to your party and what they do for you inside combat over having like this random Tauros come out and fly you everywhere or like run around for you. So like on one end, it's part of your party helping you get through the world and helping your exploration versus just the entire world kind of just working for you. Uh, I like how it goes inside this game so far. I like the cut having to be on my basculin. But hey there. Wow, whenever I look at the skeleton, I'm fascinated. Is that a Dragonite? Oh no. Welcome, I'm House, the assistant director. Since you were kind enough to take it to visit, let me give you a tour of the museum. The skeleton of a Dragon-type Pokemon. It's a theory that it had an accident while flying around inside the world and it became a fossil. Dragonites are that big? Dragon it's the size of like fucking four people? This rock is amazing, it's a meteorite. It has some kind of face on it. This is a this is a poop. That's it. And this is the gym! At the end of the gym, a very strong and very kind Pokemon or gym leader is there. By the way, the gym leader Lenora happens to be my wife. She's my waifu. Good stuff. Whoa, I like this mask. Hey there. What are you? A mask that Asian people used to wear at festivals. That's a pretty big mask. Here, do you guys happen to have fossils? I remember researching research fossils. You have a fossil. Should I turn it back into a Pokemon? All right, I shall turn the cover festival back into a Pokemon. Encounter. For free. Fossil you gave me turned back into a Pokemon. It's a Shroomish. Take good care of it. Wow. I'll take it. Give a new nickname. Hell yeah. It's a female. Your name is going to be... I know exactly what I'm going to make you. How do you spell it? God damn it. So your name is Hana Midorikawa, of which would be from prison school. She likes mushrooms. It's okay. Uh, and we are going to go ahead and run into the gym here and have a good time. Now, is is she going to be only level 5? 25?! Jesus Christ! Whoa! Okay. Hannah is a relaxed nature, gotten today, likes to fight. With Leech Seed, Mega Drain, Headbutt, and Poison Powder. With the nature that boosts defense, and that's 44. You are going to be so helpful. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, this gym is going to be so much easier than I expected. All right, buddies. Let's go ahead and get into this. They, they give you it at level 25? Jeez. Oh, Freshwater Man. Hey there. Pokemon Gym where the leader waits for a challenge at the back of the museum. That's a great atmosphere, doesn't it? So I will give this to you. We obtained a Freshwater. The freshwater medicine case. All trainers in this gym have normal type Pokemon. Just between you and me, normal type are weak to fighting type. Yeah, that's not the case though. Nice to meet you, Pokemon. Don't know where the book is. Find it. I probably should have read that properly. Oh no. Uh, round here, fighting type Pokemon should show up inside the Pinwheel Forest. I will now explain about the gym itself. In this Pokemon gym, you will answer questions hidden inside books to move forward. For your information, the first book you find was Nice to Meet You, Pokemon. Don't know where the book is? Ask anyone. Okay. Either way, first battle time. I hang around nursery and gym all the time. They call me a bookworm. I'll warn you now, I am strong because I spend the entire day either reading books or training Pokemon. See, 
the the way that I practice is I have my challenge, uh, my Charmander burn books. Uh, that's that's the way that I train my poke. Oh wow, actual normal type. Good job. Holy shit. I'm super happy about that. Good job to ya. Here, let's use Bone Club. Bone Club. Just bop you on the head. Don't tickle me. Oh my god, he has a little like hand thing, and he's oh, that's cute. I like that! I'm gonna blow him away after bopping him on the head, but I mean... That's adorable. Oh, he got angry at me with his fury swipes. I'm so sorry, buddy. Oh. Well, Gust. Bye there. See you later. Appreciate that, though. I actually might toss Snow Runt to the front of the party. I feel like now's the time to switch train, if anything. Here. We'll do this and have Panoptic in the second position. Let's get to it. Now, where? Children's books. Venture on Route 3, don't want that. Children's books, nice to meet you, Pokemon. I want that. It's a fairy tale about a little boy who met a Pokemon for the first time in his life. He is with a small brown Pokemon. There is no. Me there is a memo between the pages. Pokemon trainers, I am the gym leader, Lenora. I had four memos inside this library. Each of them has a question. Can you solve the questions and find me? That's the first question. What is the first Pokemon you met in this gym? The hint is, on the bookshelf in the middle row. I'll try to find it. Uh, middle row. It's, um... I guess here. Called Pokemon. The Biology of Snivy. Gotcha. There's biology of Snivy. They expose their tails to the sun and bask in sunny places. They are in the middle of photosynthesis. It's not the book you're looking for. Okay. Pokemon. Biology of Oshawott. Describes Oshawott. It's a scallop of Pokemon it uses as a tool. Another Poke okay. Sure. I guess. Route 3. With the two boys and a girl are having adventures together. It's not the book you're looking for. Okay. General studies. Techniques for Pokemon battling. Don't want that. Am I missing something? Maybe it's here? Patrat! Oh, gotcha! They're different in every single position. Biology of Patrat. They communicate with each other, movements of their tails. Patrat raises their tail to sees an enemy. Man was on the back cover. I just thought the question was easy. Now for the second question. Flame burns inside its body while it gives off smoke from its head while it runs. What is this book? Someone may be reading it. Well, maybe I should go fight you. If it's some put a memo and you're looking for a book, what does memo say? Flame burns. Reading a book called Ted Pig. Is that the correct answer? See, he, what a, what, what is this an issue? Let's fight. Okay, gotcha. I'll go back here then. Hmm, hmm, I see. You find a memo, come here looking for a book? What does this memo say? Flame burns from inside its body when it gives off smoke and its head runs. Structure of a locomotive. Is that the correct answer? Yeah. That is correct. Flame burns inside its body and gives it off smoke inside its head while it runs. That's exactly what a locomotive looks like. Here, I'll let you read this book. But before that, it'd be great if you could research our battle. I'm guessing the other one was Lenora, possibly? Probably not. But I guess that'll be the next one we head to after this. Leader Marilyn sent out Fion. Damn. Isn't that the, like, the baby version of it that has no gender? Interesting. Good on you to go and pay for that legendary breeding ring. X defend. Whoa, you're actually using strategy. That's that's pretty pog of you, if I if I do say so myself. Here. Here, Hannah. Let's get some kills, shall we? Let's eat a Fion. Ow. What level does Shroomish actually evolve at? I feel like it should be closer to... 30 would make sense, for me at least, but I actually don't fully know, honestly. Mega Drain! The good suck! Good stuff. Let's take it. Bit like a little bit less than half, though, so we'll have to do another one after this one as well. Guess we heal all of it back with Mega Drain. Honestly, Hannah's gonna be a perfect answer at getting all the different enemies we fight. A fighting grass type actually covers such good, like, 
spacing in general. I'm so happy with that. Here, suck him up. Suck it real good. Defense increases are really helpful too. I feel like I would have wanted more speed though if I was using this like shroomish properly. Beanie grew to level 16. Good stuff. Return the book to the shelf after reading it. That is the rule when you read a book. Okay. General studies. Read the book. It's about a locomotive. It runs and runs. There's a memo on the back cover. I'm surprised you found this. Suppressed. Surprised you found this. That's what I expect from a challenger like you. Well, this is the third question. If you heat up in a pot, if you heat up in a pot, it'll be delicious. What is this? Hint is on the bookshelf closer to the entrance than here. To pig would be delicious inside that, but I feel as if that's probably not the one you're looking for. Um, I'll choose this one. Sweets for Pokemon. That would not be it. Children's book. Sweets for Pokemon. Still not it. Are these all Avengers on Route 3? Still not it. What is this? This is nice to meet you. What is this? This is connect the dots. Don't want that. Pokemon, Biology of Snivy. Don't want that. What's on this side? Patrat. Don't want that. But I don't want Tepig because it's about eating. I definitely don't want to... Hmm. Things for Pokemon Battles and System of Pokemon Center. Is it Tepig? I really don't want it to be Tepig. What does Memo say? If you get up in a pause, delicious, what is this? Oh my god, I... It's Tepig. I know you're just kidding. It reminds me, in, pa in, the, ba in the past, I've seen sweets heating up like berries. What are they called? Gotcha. So it's, 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 I, I understand. I comprehend. It's not Tepig. This, this, this describes the sweets made by heating up berries in a pot. They are called puffins, made from berries in a faraway Sinnoh region. People love them. There's a memo on the cover. You managed to get here without being tricked by the questions? This is the last question. From this bookshelf, move two backwards, then one left. Two forward, then one right. Move one backward. Now where is it? Hint, find it by yourself. I lost it after that one. Let me... Uh, down, down, left, up, up, right. Down, down, left, up, up, right, down. Down, down, left, up, up, down, or right, down. Uh, possibly not there. Okay, fucking register this. Move two backward, which would be to the desk. Left. Forward. So not up. Forward. Then right and backward. Would. So left. Forward, forward. Back, forward? <laughs> that doesn't make sense to me at all. Hmm. It wouldn't be just this, would it? From this bookshelf. Backward, backward, left. Forward, forward, right, backward. Now, where is it? The issue with the bookshelf is also two spaces wide. So, down, down, left. Forward, forward, right. Backward. God damn it. I can't... Oh, what? Ah! There, there is a book about puffins. In the book, it says to go two spaces back, one left and two forward. I'm not sure how it's supposed to lead you to the next clue, but the answer is a school kid who's standing on the shelf above the puffins book. What? No, what? This. The answer is the bookshelf above and talking to the person. What? That... That is not how that's solved. Okay, I'll give you the last question. Can you challenge the gym leader if you win against me? Yes, that is correct. Here we go, trainer. I have no idea. Is it forward to bookshelves? Then left, left, but then there's no bookshelf to the left because there's only one to the left. 
Would it be book stacks? Because that wouldn't make sense. Ah! Sure, I will just punch this child and say that it's the how it works. And I'll use Icy Wind because this is a dinosaur. I I am happy with that. Fucking whoa! Ha! Ah! Ha! Ah! God, why? Ah! Wah! -ha! Why in the goddamn fuckity goddamn worlds do you have Dragon Rage? I survived it, but fuck you. Ah, I'm swapping over to Shroomish. Oh. We just started the battle, man. I'm stressing over the actual puzzle itself. Don't give me this shit. It's it's too early in the god. It's fucking noon. It's too early in the goddamn morning for this. Headbutt him. I just got assured. That was a pat on the back. There you go. That was him assuring me that I need to try and watch out for Dragon Rage in the future. I gotcha. I understand. I I got the gist of it. My cargo. I would love to send out Panoptic. Thank you. Oh fuck me. Holy shit. Ah. Oh. I am stressing. I am stressing. Oh, Aqua Jet. I'm pretty much on par with this actual gym, though. Like, level 16 is a little bit lower than I am, but it makes up for it with the fact that, like, some of these enemies just fucking kick my ass. Magnemite is a bad thing. I'm probably going to swap over to Hannah again, honestly. Like, she's a bit too high of a level in general. But I really want to have that counter to electric. I really need it. Um, so let's just pop like a Mega Drain and see how that goes. Give him the good suck. I'll take it. Thank you. Now, I feel like it doesn't actually matter. I was gonna say I feel like you have Levitate, so I can use Headbutt, but you ruined it either way. I think you are a Steel type though, so I. I should probably just keep on using Mega Drain. At least that's Stab, and it's it's resisted, but not the worst. Oh my god, really? Two turns of Paralysis and the Sonic Boom. Kinda is rough. I have no good answer to that either. That's the problem here. Tackle's a bit better. So I can at least try and get out of that. Like, I can survive a Sonic Boom still here, so I'm fine with this. We'll use Mega Drain to try and get that back up. As long as we're out of Sonic Boom territory, I'm fine. I'm I'm neutral to everything else. Even Crit should be fine for this, honestly. Just need to get a kill on the Magnemite, and we're good to go. I would love to get, like, a Ground-type or something to counter Electrics right now. But be like beyond that, I'm pretty much all right with this party. Here, get that sweet ass fucking kill. We're probably gonna go heal before we go and fight the the gym leader here, because this is kind of a little bit of a problem with my current party. But I'm happy with that. Hell yeah! Meet the gym leader soon. This is the last book. Now read the last book. Uh, soon. Give me a sec. I need to go heal. Hey there, Nurse Joy. I'm back again. Uh, there were some complications, but we lived! Actually, pretty efficiently, too. Not too bad of a gym, even though there were there were threats. But, you know, we're, we're still chilling. I'm gonna go fight the gym leader now. I'm, I'm, I'm glad to have your support here. See you in a little bit, Nurse Joy. Murder time. do 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 ba da dum 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 I like this music a lot. I'm so happy with that. What a what a good town. This this entire town is my kind of aesthetic, honestly. It's my big favorite. Okay, so last book, what do you have for me? This is a bookshelf from Pokemon, the biology of Tepig. Describes Tepig. It kinda is angry, but it can give off smoke. There's a memo between the pages. You managed to get here. Well done. You even have the wisdom as well as strength. Look forward to our battle. Gym leader Lenora. Click the switch under the book. Whoa! She's in the basement. Cool. I like that a lot, actually. 
Oh, a hidden staircase. Neato. Hey there. Are those devil breakers? Those are bones. Oh, are those the bones of your enemies? Pretty fucked up. Welcome! Mm. The director of Narsine Museum! Mm. And the nursery or Narserine Jim's leader is me, Lenora. Well then, Challenger, I'm going to research how you battle with the Pokemon you've raised lovingly. Alrighty, Lenora, or should I say Landon? Let's get to it. Whoa! I love you! She's cute! I'm, I'm a fan of that. I actually don't remember Lenora, like, at all at all. Good stuff. Hey there, Togetic. Probably gonna blow you away. You know, Icy Wind actually being good against a flying type makes a lot of sense to me. Like, it's blowing them away and they can't fight against it because their wings are getting frozen as they fly at you. Kind of fucked up, honestly, to try and imagine. But jeez, metronome. Please. Pin missile. Uh, it's, it's, it's threatening, you know? It's... Just don't be self-destruct. <laughs> that's that's my problem with it. All right. Sweet kiss. Aw, thank you for the smooch. That's cute. Oh, I just got so confused because I'm so in love now. W wait, they're both boys. Uh, <laughs> I like the idea of Beanie going like, but we're both guys and just getting really confused by the kiss. <laughs> oh, does that mean? Oh, no. Oh, it's, it's, it's the gay panic. There you go. All right, go for it. Icy wind him up. Blow him away. I should not doing that much damage against Togetic. Hopefully it'll be okay. Don't self-destruct. Ring out. That's dark. Oh! Ah! I can't believe you would do that to him. J just, just to give an interpretation of what just happened to Beanie. Beanie was shown a wiggle of the finger, and and, and then stuff happened. It wasn't a huge deal. He got pin missiled. Then he was kissed and went into a gay panic, and then the finger wiggled again. And he was fucking squeezed and twisted by the juicer and wrung out for the rest of his life. That is messed up, dude. Holy shit. Beanie, I'm so sorry. I didn't expect him to do that to you. That did so much fucking goddamn damage. Please die. Please get out of here. Holy shit, dude. Do not do it again. Barrier. Okay, Barcelomeo, I get it, but no. Get out of here. Fucking go away. You deserve to burn for ringing out my boy with gay panic and a full life ahead of him. He's dead now. You live beyond this moment. He doesn't. Ah. Oh. oh my God. Beanie. Beanie! Oh, Beanie! Oh, God, no, Beanie. Oh, I'm so sad. He deserves so much. He had so much to live for. No matter how grim the situation, just fight, forehead. Uh. Uh. I treat losing any of my, my friends and family here as a net loss, honestly. Oh my god, why are you doing so much damage with Bubble Beam? Fucking die. Oh. Okay, just... Your last Pokemon has to be someone normal. Normal, chill, easy. No, it's fine. That was it. That was it. Okay. You're more than just talented. I think I love you. Is that what she said? I don't think that was the case. Oh, oh no. Your fighting style is so enchanting. It is charming! 
You are a Pokemon trainer worth worthy of receiving this basic badge. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you for badge number two. Basic get. God, the, the badges are so neat. If you have two badges, trade a Pokemon up to level 30, we'll obey you. I also want you to have this TM. TM 67, bounce. I can bounce. Retaliate does a lot more damage if you don't use the thing. Dear Anata! Dear, come quick! T Plasma has threatened to steal the bones. What? What's going on? Lee, you come too! Jeez, you are fast. Run, go. Bah! Plasma. Plasma, please. Now you wait. Enough fooling around. So you've come, gym leader. We, Team Plasma, claim this museum's dragon skull in the name of Pokemon Liberation. We will prove that slavery is bad by desecrating this corpse. Pokemon, what? Okay, to show you we're serious, we'll steal it right before your eyes. Well then, here's our smoke screen. <laughs> they just blow a bunch of vape in the sky. Oh my god. Uh, Lenora, what's going on? Aww. Hmm. Oh, oh, we have to go after them. I will. I'm on my way. But we'll be on our way next time on Pokemon White Randomized Nuzlocke, because we are actually at the tail end of an episode. Uh, however, I think that was quite a good, good old fancy old fun time. And I do think that we're going to come back soon to do some more of this fancy old good time that is Pokemon White Randomized Nuzlocke. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy. And... See you in... I... I'm so weird at doing these fucking outros because I have no idea how to do them. See ya, everybody. I had a good time with this episode. I'll see you next time on Pokemon Rider Nezlock. It's been a good time. Bye! Bye!